So I'm coming to you today to do a full face of Wet n Wild. Let's see if Wet n Wild Cosmetics is about it. Um, now the range in most stores is not that great because what it is is a lot of stores will not order certain colors and my color is a bit darker and those are the colors that I struggle to find in the Walgreens around me. Um, you can go to Target, sometimes they sell Wet n Wild, but it's mostly like Walgreens where I find Wet n Wild. Um, I think CVS has it as well, but the color range is just not there. So I ended up getting two foundations. I got it in the color Espresso and Coco. Um, they have other colors online, but I didn't want to order online. So what I'm going to have to do is mix these two colors. Eyeshadow palette that we'll be working with today. And I chose to use a primer that I already have. So that's what you already see on my eyes is a primer. But this is the color that I'm going with today. And on the name on it is I'm Getting Sunburned. I have a blush, which is pearlescent pink. Concealer. And I got medium deep tan or 844B. Emmer powder. This is in Precious Petals. And I already have my favorite highlight, which is Brulee um, that I got at Walgreens a long time ago. So let's go ahead into the look. We're gonna first start with eyes. So we're gonna start with the pink color there. And then I'm gonna use some inexpensive brushes, which is e.l.f. This is the dollar brush from e.l.f. So we're gonna start with a lot of fallout, like the subculture palette. We're gonna start right here, in the inner third of the eye. Now I'm going to go in, same brush. I just use a napkin to kind of clean off the excess. Although I'm kind of going to mix the colors, I'm going to go in with the next color, which is the gold. You can see that, the gold color. Ugh. Yeah, the gold color. And I'm going to put that next to that color right there. The pink color right in the middle. So as you can see, I'm using the brush on its side, not the tip of the brush and I'm kind of doing a patting motion as well as dragging the shadow a little bit. Later on, I'll be patting it a little bit more. That's just to get really good color payoff and we're gonna worry about blending later. The next color, and I'm gonna use the same brush, my little dollar brush from e.l.f., clean it off. I'm gonna use that, well, they call it the crease color, so that darker brown, and I'm gonna put that in the outer crease. Worry about blending in a minute. Now I'm going in with pearlescent pink. This is actually a blush color, but I'm gonna actually use this as a blending color in the crease to blend these colors together because, yeah. Another inexpensive brush, this is the Beauty Junkies Blending Tapered Brush. Let's see the color payoff of this. This is an okay color, let's we'll see how it looks on. So I'm gonna blend these colors together. Remember with blending colors, they can just be a kind of a lighter color. You don't want them too dark because of course it could uh, go into your colors and really compromise your colors. You want them to be lighter. It could be your skin tone. It could be um, like the pink color that I'm using. It's all about blending and you, you wanna do it at the top of the colors, not really going into the colors so everything can blend well. Yep, they're blending. So the palettes aren't bad. Definitely worth the money. And um, all of this was under like $22. So even with the additional foundation I had to buy. Now I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Brulee color 
for underneath the brow. Gonna go in with this color. This is Voltage Blue. It's a blue eye eyeliner from Wet n Wild. So I have to say I cheated. I did use a cheap eyeliner though. It's the LA Girl. It's in black. It's a gel liner. I love it. Um, but what I will do is take the e.l.f. brush and use that brown from the palette, the deep brown, just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. I'll be right back, I'm gonna put some lashes on real quick. Now time to work with my face. I'm going to be mixing these two colors together. This is Coco and Espresso. Um, Espresso is a bit too ready for me. Coco is a little too light for me. So I think mixing these colors will work. I'm gonna be using a Beauty Junkie sponge to blend this onto my skin. We won't be doing any contouring because I ain't got none. Oh, so I like how it has the applicator. That's nice. So you know what? I'm gonna just be putting this onto my skin. Yeah, a bit red. So I'm gonna be putting, mixing some of the cocoa. Which is too light. So I'm gonna be putting it in areas that I kind of want to highlight it, like under the eye, although I will be using a concealer. And let's see how this mixes. Just another tip when you're mixing your foundation, the way that I'm doing it might be a little bit more difficult for you, putting two colors on your face and trying to mix the colors together. Another way to do it is to use a tray, like an aluminum tray. Some people like to use CDs, like clean CDs, uh, plastic, on the back of their hand to mix the two colors together and then draw it around line uh, around your jawline just to see how the colors are going to mix um, to see if it really matches your skin tone and then go from there. kind of smells like clay. So it's not a terrible smell but I don't love it. Now that I have that mix I'm going to be using my concealer which is 844B. And since I don't have any contour, I'm going to be putting this on the sides of my nose to kind of narrow it. The Precious Petals Shimmer Highlighting Powder, whatever you want to call it. This is what it looks like. Using a Morphe M501 brush. Oh, that's a nice shimmer. Beautiful. I want to be, I want to put on a little bit of that blush, which is again the pearlescent, pearlescent pink. 
nice inexpensive Real Techniques brush. Ooh, that was a bit much. Kind of powdery, so you be careful with it. I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild color. This is um, the color 966 Don't Blink Pink. Love this color. I just feel like I need to contour my face just a little bit. So I am gonna go in with a CoverGirl contour that I love. This is the Ebony Bronze Bronzer and the Morphe E42 brush. So I shouldn't say contour, I'm just bronzing the face up just a little bit. Felt like it was just missing something.